you everyone and welcome back to another episode of the French Take On The World. So, yeah, we're just here going back to our campaign of trying to take over the world. And in this round, um, we're again fighting the Austrians and the Russians, but this time we have a much more valuable ally, the Prushkins, who I hope are going to be instrumental in our conquest of... Austria because they actually have a decent sized military which I hopefully will help them out because I'm not really going to defend them. <laughs> I'll just cut to the chase. I'm just not going to defend them. They're going to have to deal with it themselves. And in this episode, I'm going to be trying to cut down on my talking and talk more concisely. So um, I'm going to tell you my general strategy right now so you guys know off the bat. We don't have to like, you guys don't have to play the guessing game. I'm going to send, basically I'm going to keep a couple troops back over here, like these three guys back here, but I'm going to send these three people to go over here and occupy all the lower parts, and we're just going to slowly move in until we get to Vena, okay? Okay, and if you're wondering about my colonies, I'm basically having no plan for them. They're on their own. And I'll send you guys to go take over Vena, Corona, okay? And... We should get my people ready for this. So wartime eco economy, you tax your people to the utmost, and you heighten everything. So we're now in wartime economy. And yeah. So the opening moves, we have Pruska trying to... Pruska is actually doing pretty good against the Austrian, Austrian mares. I'm more worried about the Russians, though. That's really where they're going to have to prove their dominance is against the Russians and actually it seems like the uh, Austrians are forcing all their men onto the no wait 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 I stand corrected they actually did pull back some of the men to come and try to take me on so I'm gonna go send some of my men to go help out in the situation over here so I'm also gonna send my men to go right here Seems like the battle is completely even. Um, I'm trying to see who's winning. It seems like the slaughtering actually more of my soldiers, so I'm just going to wait for a little bit and send in these guys. There we go. Ooh, still losing more than them. I don't understand why, but there we go. Now we're starting to win more. And what do we need? We need Impressionism, because I, I need to text down some of the press the ism so I can gain some prestige because every time I keep gaining prestige I lose it so it seems to be something that happens and some of our soldiers have already taken over some of this land so we're gonna start moving in casually and start taking over most of this because we already have 4.9 yep we won we won and it seems like they tried to move down here we're going to go send every single one of these soldiers to go down here. I know there were some more soldiers that were going a different direction, but... Oh well. We have we have, we have, have a good amount of forces down here to make sure that we keep this up. And it looks like, to me, the French liberation of Romania is going to take a little bit of time. But it doesn't look like we are losing this, this war at all. In fact, we're crushing them with a good iron grip. And... Religion must be respected. War between Austri France and Austria. Huh. They don't even include Prussia and Russia in it. They're just like, we are the most important people in this war right now. Treviso. And you guys just keep hunting them down. Um, if I could, I'd love to make them escape. You guys go right here, protect the front lines, make sure we don't get anyone in our main industrialized area. Because this is really where we have to protect our land. The rest of it is just kind of nice and how are we doing we're beating them by a pope those men should die by the end of winter well by the end of spring I should say it's not quite winter yet and you guys move in right here yeah I mean the Prushkins the Prushkins are making a pretty strong push towards the Vienna but they're having they're not really holding a line against the Russians which is not necessarily good um, I really wish the I really wish I could bring in the Polish right now. Yeah, you guys just keep just keep hunting them. And yeah, they're not they're not standing much of a chance against us. Their army seems to be collapsing pretty well. And our army over here, 
like I said, is just annihilating. There's not much hope for them. Yeah. 2.2. Okay, that should be the last man. Okay, yeah. Wow. Before they even, guys, before they even mobilized, we already had most of Vienna. We already, we already had most of Vienna occupied. That's a pretty amazing feat. And militaristic leader died. And I'm gonna do that so that they can keep their manpower. Move these guys here. I'm gonna send some of you guys, since they're not moving in any men, to go help me. You guys, um, split up your units. Keep a good size there. And let's go right over here. And is there any of them? Oh shoot, they're attacking my colonies again. Okay, you guys. Go take them on. Oh, that's actually very treacherous terrain. And how are we doing in our war front? Yeah, we are vastly superior. We're vastly winning this war. Um, the prestige is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this unit off before it like, before it like tries to uh, get the Treviso. No, couldn't do it. Well, actually, I'll just keep them right here, and I'll have one of these units go break them off. Yeah, I have two units moving in here. I'll conquer Tlaist, and yeah, I'll just crush these guys. No mercy, as they say. Oh my goodness, they're actually winning. Well, maybe we can offer a little bit of mercy. You know, because there's always just a little bit of mercy in some wars. Okay, you guys move in. You guys split. We want to make sure they do not gain... I want to make sure they do not, like, start taking back some of my conquests. And, yeah, these don't seem to be the high-up military officials. These seem to be the grunts, the reserves. And dang, do I have a big army. I'm just having to like send it over and how are we doing seems like the Pushkins are starting to collapse a little bit but it's kind of okay because the Austrians are almost certainly collapsed over here I mean we're just like dealing blow after blow and we're making it really close to the capital in fact um, France gains a humiliation trade against Russia or you know, let's gain some relationships, because I need to proceed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, if, if you guys haven't figured it out, I'm mainly doing, you know, just stay right here. You seem, yeah, these guys seem to be stupid enough to think they can take me on, so I'll move in. Ooh, there's a battle we lost. What, the battle of, battle of Constantine, where is that? Hmm. I, I don't know, people. I don't know where the battle of Constantine is. Is it on one of my Kafkan coast? Oh, it's on my coast. I see. They try. My men try to take them on, and they died. Okay, that makes sense. Well, to those brave men in Africa, everyone, you guys did your job. You guys did your duty. I'm proud of you as soldiers for doing what you guys do. Okay, and we're just gonna be expanding outward, and I'll have. This unit right here, go in and go crush these guys. So, continuing with our play, I mean, we really, I should be slowing this down and micromanaging everything to like get the utmost efficiency, but, I mean, there's really not much we really have to do. This is pretty much a straightforward to kick their butt battle. And I'm honestly crushing them pretty hard, but I'm honestly worried about the Prushkins because, as I said, no, wait, they're kind of holding their own against them. I'm not sure it's enough though. Just not sure it's enough. You guys go to, I guess, Linens. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a little bit worried and a prestige went up. That's good. We can get expressionism, all this kind of stuff. Um, let's try to, let's try to maximize to achieve a goal of getting all three tech done. All level three tech done. So. And... You guys go back down here, crush them, crush their army. You guys moving? Yeah, you guys are moving up there. Wow, we've we've created like an impenetrable force of just soldiers streaming in, and we have our soldiers killing them and moving into Saint Puton and then to Vienna. 
Wow, we already got to Vienna, everyone. And actually, when you can't, when you stab your soldiers in Vienna, they usually start like attacking quicker and faster because they want to try to get their capital back. But I think we have the utmost advantage, and for once, um, all the factories that are required for military, like this one, I'm gonna be subsidizing to keep up my morale, or not morale, just money. And ooh, I did not pay attention to that one. Okay. You guys, we conquer Tlis once they're done. You guys conquer Krekov, so we can kind of surround them. Um, and we're conquering the capital. <laughs> and apparently, we're beating them severely in that home stretch. They even are splitting up some of their army. We got 18 soldiers there. Whew. Most of the battling has been just wipes. And as you can see, it's it's not even really much of a battle. We just like tummed them or destroyed them. I'm moving out my line a little bit more. And the battlefront has really moved to just right towards the Austrian land. And did we win here? No, we still have not destroyed this troop. So once we destroy these troops, I'll go send them to okay, catch them. Please catch these guys. There we go. Um, conservative. Okay. Okay. More we'll land conquered. The beliefs must be respected. Okay, I'm gonna go send these guys, these two armies to go deal with these two armies right here because I don't really want to move out of position in in a fray that I might lose something. So. Moving down these two positions should be good. Um, Argentina! Yes, I think Argentina is finally in my sphere again. Yes! Okay, so now we have Argentina back and now I look like I have a lot of vassals. Not as much as, as Austria does, but a good enough to where, look at that. I mean, look at this. This is just... I mean, my troops from... The troops from the... Uh, British, not British side, the, um, Prussian side have now met up, and we're now just, like, you know, shaking hands, high-fiving. Man, it's supposed to be a glorious day, and for the majority of battles, we seem to be just crushing them. We should go right here, crush them right here, crush this little tiny army, and then you guys just go in and clean, mop up the rest of these. Okay. And, oh wow, they actually knew where to go before I even needed to say. Okay. And Sweden! Seems like the Russians are still not giving up on the Swedish. But I'm not giving up on spearing them. They're my nation. Not yours, Sweden. I mean, Russia. <laughs> Whatever nation that's trying to take them over, I'm not letting them. Okay. We're almost there. Yes! Okay. So now that we have their capital, their morale completely di dissipates. And we gain a lot for it. In terms of, well, we usually gain a lot for taking over their um, capital. But it seems like, I think it's because of um, the Russian invasion over here that we're having difficulties. But I think that will soon be reprimanded because we're taking over vast amounts of land from the Austrians. And I could actually go um, help out the... Yeah, you know what, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'm going to go help out the um, Prushkins, which is actually kind of funny because last time we were doing this, I was destroying them. But I'll go help them out, defeating some of these armies that are terrorizing their nation. Okay, send these guys over there. And go send these guys over there. Okay, there we go. 2.0. Um, you guys are still hunting. Okay. Moving on up. You guys... Actually, we need a good line right there because there's some gap right there. Okay. And... You guys just crush the rest of these. Oh, no! And the rebels chose the best time to ever attack me. They chose, like, the utmost worst time to attack me. 
or the best time to attack me, I guess, is the best, is the better way of saying it, and that's a lot of men right there, but, um, I don't know, I think my men will be able to handle it, my men are not weak, they're pretty strong, and I have Prushka completely guarded on this front, ah, yeah, I mean, I've, the Pushkins are basically defeated. We just have to make sure that we can get this war score up. So I'm actually going to decrease attacking, attacking. Come on, destroy these, destroy these two men. Oh man. Okay. And at least we could go into attack against the Russians and see how powerful they are in terms of militaristics. I I'm I'm debating if they are powerful, if they're really weak. Because sometimes, sometimes it's really scary to have a horde of Russian power, but, I mean, I don't know. The Austrians were a very easy force to fight. We didn't really have much difficulty. So, you know, I'm kind of debating if to say, hey, are they good or are they not good? So, oh, f we freedom speech that, whatever. I'm not really paying attention to that. And my economics is going down the drain, as was expected. Um... Yeah, we should move. These guys are going to be the ones that move down there. And we have tons of troops just, like, sitting here. So we're going to slowly flood them in to go try to push back the Russians. Because the Russians are honestly, like, completely crushing the uh, poor defenseless Prushkins. And as the big brother of France, we need to kind of help them out. So we need to kind of re... Kind of, like, destroy a lot of this... Ooh. It's not the greatest uh, minute right now. We don't have, like, the greatest fighters ever, but... Ooh. Let's see. Let's see how we do against a proper Russian army. Ooh, we do not do very good. Or very well against. But we are... No. Just sit right here. We're just gonna sit right here. Okay. We need to kind of plan this out. How are we going to do this? Because we have most of our men going in to finish off the um what are they called um Austrians and we need to kind of make sure we have a front right here we need to kind of stabilize a good front and the elections of course during wartime great idea people just just stupid great idea and apparently the Russians want to see my military in action so they're gonna go directly at me. This is going to be a good test to see how we spare up against them. Okay, so they're not winning. That's good. In fact, they're losing a lot of men. That's actually really good. So that gives me some confidence. Um, I'm trying to survey the situation right now. It kind of looks hopeless for the... For the I'm going to combine these guys. kind of looks hopeless for the... Uh, um, Prushkins, but... I'm going to just try to push him back just little by little. Um, actually, you know what I should do? This is actually a smart idea. I should hold Berlin and start like trying to establish a line. And then once they start weakening a little bit, I start pushing. And we're slowly but surely, our um, forces are marching through this land. Um, okay, how many soldiers? Do we have any soldiers over here? Okay, yeah, you guys, since you guys are an elite guard, you guys should actually, no. Can I get Brunswick? Will you guys give me military? No, probably not. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, how about Hangover? Will you guys give me military access? They will not give me military access. That stinks. So, what about Hangover? Wait, that is Hangover. Um, You guys are allied with them, so you're probably not going to give it to me. So, yeah, you guys are just going to have to go all the way around. If you guys want, if you guys want to get to this little territory right here, you have to go all the way around. Okay, and right now I should have learned my lesson to never attack first. That's gonna cost me a lot of men. Naval bases, we have a couple. Okay, decision making. I mean, there's really no, there's no arm technology we can get right now, so I only have to be worrying about that. Thank goodness. And I'm keeping these men back just in case of some other rebellion forms. And ooh. We're, incre we're decreasing quite quickly, so I'm gonna try to stiffen off this massive e deficit by decreasing 
how much I spend. And we really don't need a military right now, if I must be honest. Okay, there we go. That should supply us for a little bit. So we don't have to deal with it. And, oh my goodness, they actually came in and just proved me wrong. Okay, so I want you guys to go right here, go right there, and go right there. Go completely around. Because apparently the Russians are sending in more and more men. Which is not necessarily bad, it just means we have to... Okay, actually, wow, my man actually stood a chance, but I'm just going to make sure and send in more. And how are we doing over here? Okay, you guys go back here. Go take them out. Divine interventionism. I still haven't changed my views about our economic goals. And a 12.6 battle we just won, and how's our position right now? It's doing pretty good. Would you guys willing to just peace out? No. Uh, well, this will probably be a two-parter, so... Shoot. Alright. Well, it seems like... Um... My friends, or my supposed friends, the Pruskins decide to peace out on me. And basically chickened out. So I have to quickly go back in defensive mode and start defending all my land again this kind of stinks because I kind of like but kind of like prepared my line for a non prussian invasion and now we're gonna see how good my line is against a full-on assault by both the Russians and Pushkins. <sighs> this actually does not look very good like completely this does not look like I'll completely win anymore this actually looks okay you guys stay right here we have bad news. Our friends have abandoned us. You know, I, I should have expected this. I should have expected this from Prussia. They just don't have it to fight against a force that should be easy for them to kill. No, they just like, okay, you guys, are you guys hunting rebels? No, don't do that. Okay, we just have to kind of work our way and figure out how much we have to protect. Because the Russians are going to be coming and we need to make sure we have a good defensive against them. Which is kind of scary because right now we have a couple men right there having some difficulties um we have a couple men right there having some difficulties we have a ton of men just right here just chilling which i think i'm gonna move some of these guys to go help with some of these battles and we have lots of russians starting to flood in to try to cover up all my lines that aren't really covered yeah this isn't this does look like a major real if this isn't going to be a battle, this is going to be a huge just... Okay, you guys, move in. Man. Okay, we have to gain back the capital. Um. Okay. See, they seem to be focusing mostly up on up in this upper area. That's pretty good. Um, My soldiers have been doing a pretty good job of just conquering. They're going to have to pull back now, though, but... You know, they, was, they did a pretty good job for what they were doing. So, okay, my 67 soldiers crushed the, uh, really, you guys didn't kill them. Okay, so we did not kill them, but we basically crushed them, and we're not doing so good over there. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, because I'm going to circulate divine interventionism. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull back to the capital. Oh, wait. No, we don't have to because my forces are going to be forced in a couple seconds. And we have lots of soldiers right there. Tons and tons of Russians are coming in to try to kill me. Luckily, we have some forces of my own coming in. And they will help. Okay. Get that. Get that. Okay, next, get back in control of Vienna. We want to make sure they, like I said, we want to make sure they do not gain control of Vienna. No matter what we do in this game, we want to make sure they do not gain control of Vienna. And are they moving in any soldiers from this side? No, they are not. So we're still protected over there. And right now, this battle is completely... Actually, the battle actually increased my war score because it's just me now. But that battle right here is turning into a major... Ooh, it's turning into a major one. But it doesn't like a major one where I'm going to probably win this. So I'm going to move my soldiers back here. And morality. 
and you guys, I don't know, guess move in, but I really don't know at this point. Okay. Since you guys are doing a really slow conquest, you guys will group up. We need to speed this up a little bit. And demand concession against Marco. Detected. Oh man, this is this is really tense. And how are you guys doing? We're starting to lose a little bit. I think we'll be able to conquer Bruno before I have to go send in more men. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to go take over Bruno. And you guys combine to make one unit. And you guys just go down and keep taking over as much as you can. Um, wow. We're not doing good. And for some reason, Prushka and... Oh, I see. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, oh, that is so cheap because I can't defend him right now. Ah, uh, so, apparently Austria's game broken up again because of the... Oh, Poland's game broken up again because of the stupidity. I mean, Poland just apparently cannot get it together and realize, derp -a -derp, I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't do that. So, it seems like the, the, uh, Russians are losing in the battlegrounds now. Um, I should go send in more men to go, like, drive the stake in, but I don't think there's really any need to. Because, um, let's just take the prestige. So I look like, yeah, I look like I'm still destroying them and their morale is just crumbling. Morality. Right. Even during elections, we're still like, yes, we got this. Yeah, and they're still, they're still losing massive, like, a massive amounts of troops. And I, I'm surprised. This still hasn't been that much, like, warring. And is this the piece I was waiting for? Yes, it is! And so, everyone, for the second time in a row... Boom. We have officially made the colonial conquest of Romania, or the colonial European power of Romania. And with that, everyone, with... That's kind of ironic, because right now, Poland's about to be conquered back. But with that, everyone, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it was... Hope you guys enjoyed my kind of like monotone-ish kind of thing. If you guys did not enjoy it, tell me. Now I'll switch it back up to my hyped up, really hyper, you know, expression kind of thing. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.